sell it to? So come on in. Take a sip. Let's wind down. We got ourselves a Thursday grid today. We'll pull this up real quick. And it looks like we've got a Grant Burroughs construction edited by Joel Faliano. So let's just hop into a little bit of Saul vs. Courage, which today is a lovely Bartolino, dry, reminiscent of nothing but black stone fruit and red cassis, and it is absolutely gorgeous. About a medium on the acids and tannins, and I would say probably 12.5 to 13% alcohol. I can check the back of the bottle, but I really guess pretty good with that. But a fantastic wine, and I'm just sure positive we're going to have ourselves a very challenging Thursday grid. So let's see what we got. Okay. Sight for a light bite. I don't know, four letters. I mean, I mean, I guess that my first guess would be like a cafe, but I've had some pretty heavy bites in cafes, so I don't know. Um, Major food source animal. Maybe going with a cow. Uh, instrument panels. Um, hmm. Like many Keats works. Um, uh, Odic. Computing pioneer Lovelace. Ada. Okay. I guess this is cafe, but it just seems kind of odd to me. Swerve wildly from side to side as a car. Perhaps we're talking about fishtailing. Man, I've done that a few times, and I'm telling you. So we got Echo Park made it in. Part of a pipe. I guess you could have a stem or a bowl with four letters. Um, Sweatshirt style. I'm going to go with a hoodie on this one. So I guess this would be a bowl because that's all I can think of. I, I'm an occasional pipe smoker. <clears throat> Something I picked up out of England. A, a bit of a... Not really a habit. I just... On occasion. But I do enjoy it on occasion. Um, hmm. Legislative collectives. Educated insolence per Aristotle, and I guess that would be wit. And I can see that. Oh, I can totally see that. Legislative collectives. Uh, uh, I don't know. Anticipate. Maybe await. Swahili honorific. Oh, wow. Buana, I think. What? Buono? I don't know. I mean, I mean no disrespect if, uh, to those who speak Swahili. It's just not my native language. And mm. Mine could be to care, but I really feel like we need to check this. So, Cy Young winners, for example. I guess these would be aces, considering what we had to work with there. Burnt bit of brisket, perhaps, is the end. Confidently struts. Maybe sachets. I said care here, so I don't know what that is. But this tells me maybe this is dashboards. So maybe instead of a major food source animal being a cow, which it is. Think about the dairy, the meat, and so on. Um, maybe they're looking for a dashboards, and that would make that a cod. And I know that's also a big thing, too. So legislative collectives. Well, I mean, I guess we're talking about bodies, but I, I don't know. Um, it doesn't... Legislative bodies, I mean, I guess that's right, but... Uh, let's see. Subject to damages could be liable. And, you know, by definition, right? <laughs> uh, word on a nutrition label. I guess we're talking about people who are worried about the fat content. Raced as a way from danger. I mean, I'm assuming fled... Uh, Lou Grant's wife on the Mary Tyler Moore show. And I don't think I'd ever even seen an episode, but I think it's Edie, but I'm not quite sure. Twilight protagonist. I haven't even seen any of the Twilight things, but I know my wife was a big fan. Areas that are lower than their surrounding terrain. I guess it should be Dells. Indian honorific. Oh, 
There's a ton of Indian honorifics. Um, like the linear, oh, like the femur. I guess I'm still hung up on yesterday, the femur. Like the femur among all bones in the body. Um, ah, I think it's both the longest and the largest. So I, all I know to do here, I think I can do safely is to put in the G-E-S-T at the end. Druid could be a pagan. We've got to spell that correctly. Of course. Bugs, perhaps, maybe spies on. So far, I don't know what's going on with these circles. And I haven't felt the need to investigate potential rebus locations. So, feeds on could be praise. I'm flexible, maybe any. Lavishly regaled in a way. So we wined or dined here. What do we got here? Trademark of deadpan stand-ups. Uh, I guess that could be dry humor or rye humor. So I don't know which one it is. Um, uh, maybe that's what's going on here. Uh, let's take a look up here real quick. Do we... Instrument panels. If that was also a cow... Would an instrument panel also be a washboard? And areas that are lower than their surrounding terrain are dells and cleed, specifically dells, right? But they could also be wells. And I know, I'm just going to try the Ds. If I have to put in a D uh, and a W in there or something later, if we don't get it right, then that's, I guess, what I'll do. But I don't really know what else could be going on with that. Have I mentioned I love the wine? Okay, so a gesture of reassurance. I guess it'd be a pat on the head, right? Melancholy musketeer, and it's sounding a lot like Athos to me. It's certainly not Porthos the pirate, and Aramis is too busy being moved by Eros. So I think he had the happiest muse. Toss out, let me, let me scrap. Scooby Doo to Scrappy Doo, that's Uncle. So I'm gonna go with scrap on this one and do a quick check. Move forward. Forward, absolute, well, re resolutely. And again, plod or plow. So I'm going to stick with the Ds. I don't know what that's all about. Do some garden work. Maybe sod. Prefix with cumulus. I guess these are the alto cumulus clouds. Quiet period to be a lull. I'm feeling pretty good about it. So let's get up here. Let's try to finish this uh, corner so we don't have something just hanging over our heads. Uh, dog leg terminus. Uh, Blank Bay, neighborhood of the Bronx. Yes, I think that's Pelham Bay. And boy, you talk about something that you always had kind of gestured to you in the, uh, I think it was the Philip Roth books with the port noise complaint and so on. Long time spam. Uh, okay, I mean, I guess it could be age, but Italian cheese. First thing off my off the top of my head would be Asiago, and I guess it gives us age. Can you think of anything else that that could be? Syllables of laughter. I guess we're using the H A H. So fail to act decisively in the face of a challenge. And again, it could be uh, dither. Or wither. I better get that corrected there. Landed, a lit. One of three in an SOS message is a da. Lucy and Desi. Okay, well, that's cool. Um, Not ruling out. Maybe open to. And goes hog wild. Uh, runs. Runs shod? I don't know. I don't know yet. Um... Essence could be the pith. Old timey medicines, I guess we're shooting for tonics. What makes a sticker stickier? Hmm. Do you see that? It's an eye because there's an extra eye in there. Okay, pretty clever. Um, but so far, I don't, I, I'm kind of the jury's out here on the rest of this because I'm not sure about what's going on with this DW thing. Uh, of course, it's a Thursday. There's not a name or anything to denote the theme, so I don't know. Um, put two and two together, say. Well, okay, as a verb phrase, put two and two together, it could be 
added is in they put it or add up put two and two together as if it's a directive i don't know yet uh text massager well i'm glad i caught that um editor maybe and i guess goes hog wild is running riot something i haven't heard in a long time that's a really great term though did i mention i love wine i might drink this whole bottle tonight i just might i just might I think sludge is ooze. Okay, author's concern that when parsed as four parts provides a hint to this puzzle theme. Um, I guess it's probably it's really like it's probably gonna be word choice or something. Um, but let's finish this up here. Speed could be to zoom. Big bird could be an emu in the Casterbury family. Words to betrayer at to brute and private sleeping accommodations. Well, guess what? It ain't just privates. I was an officer and there were many a nights I slept on a cot. So that's neither here nor there. Uh, and again, don't know what's going on there. Whistleblower Brockovich, that would be Aaron. Rich Rock, maybe Orr. Um... We're going to have to get to the bottom of this with 63 across, maybe. Bold, energetic, and ambitious type, it said. And I, all I can think is this must be an Aries. And you know, I need to do that. I need to either add that to our study guide, which is on our website. It's free. You just download it as a PDF. But um, I probably need to, like, download the star signs, or in German, Sternzeichen, and maybe put some of the characteristics that... Uh, that uh, you know astrologists uh, you know kind of assign to them because um that can be that's it's kind of a big part of the crossword journey right so i guess we got added here give but expect back maybe this is to lend fountain of youths promise and i guess that's gonna be i guess this is this an a i don't know yet um I'm going to go with renewal, but I'm going to keep in mind that I don't know for a fact at all. Stopover could be an N. What lies before you with the... Um, um, something ahead. I mean, I don't know. Uh, was this really crazy? So, yeah, wind or dine, I guess. Um... Things listed on a wedding registry. Um, I'm going to go with dishes because they could also be wish wishes. Um, what lies before you with the, is it the way ahead, the day ahead? I, I don't know. Black ice, dangerous stuff. Not so bad here in Germany, though. Because, man, they salt the crap out of the roads here. I tell you what, it is effective. I really wish we'd do that in, in the States, especially in the southern states. Because we've got some crazy winters lately. I mean, some crazy winters. Like, it just ices over in Texas for like a month or so. Be nice if they were using salt. Um, the Bimmer's got the X-Drive, you know, turbo. And so all-wheel drive at all times. And I tell you what, that's kind of nice. You don't really have to slow down much. Dance floor, lighting option. I guess we're talking about a strobe here. And um, hopefully some of this is going to clear up some confusion up top. Ungulate feature, and of course we're talking about uh, hooved animals, right? So not quite right, maybe a bit off. And sufficient informally. Enough? I've never seen that. I don't even know what to make of that. Play opener could be Act 1. And I guess it's going to be the day ahead because Steve Reich 3 follower is, I guess, you're out. Uh, oh, gosh. Okay, we're not quite done yet, are we? So, oh, Sahib. Got it. And so I guess we're talking about the largest. So how did we do, Bob? Well, I'll tell you how we did. We did an excellent job of making sure that that volume was very loud. 
<laughs> so I just got blasted with our little jazz number there. But uh, let's take a look and see. I mean, I learned this lesson yesterday. We need to take a look at all of our uh, grids after we've taken a look at them. And sure enough, okay, so it turns out that a W slash D would have worked there. I, w I was trying to figure that out. Like, how am I going to put a W and a D in there? I guess it would have made sense, you know, use a slash and or. So, uh, but really pretty clever stuff. Um, instrument panels. So I have to be honest with you. And if you get it, let me know. But I don't understand how washboards are instrument panels. I think of them as, you know, wooden framed metal crimped metal that you go back and forth with like if you were living in the old timey days and that's how you wash the dirt out of your clothes and so i don't know uh dells and wells i get um um as far as dog led terminus so the pad of the paw and then of course the paw itself makes sense um rye humor dry humor that's the clue that got me kind of onto what was going on here and dells and wells we kind of figured that out too as we went Figured out day and way ahead, and but I gotta be honest with you, I don't think I even thought about uh, sow, do some garden. So in other words, uh, do some garden work, plant the seeds. So pretty, uh, pretty incredible stuff. Um, two things here. One, I need to learn more about uh, Ada, uh, Ada Lovelace. I know a little bit about her just from the one intro to computer science class I had years and years ago. But, I mean, for the most part, um, uh, I don't really know much else about her other than that she's in the crossword puzzle all the time, right? She's like uh, ubiquitously in here. So I want to learn more about her, and I really do think I need to study more about the, the traits that are attributed uh, to the various star signs by... Uh, astrologists, right? Um, it's the only um, really ugly fill that I was not crazy about. For one, well, I, I wasn't quite sure what was going on with enough. Um, uh, and I wasn't quite sure that I understood uh, age. Uh, so a long time span, I mean, it's an age. I mean, at the age of, uh, say, horse-drawn buggies or the age, the space age, got it. That could be pretty long span. But then thinking ages in general though I mean I mean I could I could be no longer at the age of 15 because of something awful or I could be no longer at the age of 120 I mean so I just don't know um, what I should expect from that uh, well I will give the I will give it um, the ni here what makes a sticker stickier that was probably the most clever aspect of this grid but by and large it's a fantastic grid, and I'm so glad we did it together. So let's go ahead and, and toss this little guy out of here, and we'll see it back again, of course, on Friday when we do the mini and the big grid once again. Um, if there's any confusion, I've also been doing the Guardian um, on a daily basis, which is a really tricky uh, little cryptic uh, quick crossword. Um, it's because I'm just I don't speak British vernacular, and so therefore, I mean not much, but um, uh, so yeah, if you see that, you're like, oh, what's going on? You know, no, I look for the, the New York Times in the title versus Guardian. Uh, if that does not interest you, or if it does, please watch and 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 um, comment. Be part of that, please, if you don't mind. Um, and before I bring down the see you later slide, I just want to say thank you for all the the liking and the subscribing, and all the comments. I appreciate them more than you could ever know. So when you take a few minutes to comment and just let me know what you think of what we're doing, and um, whether it's just dumb or you think it's pretty great, whatever, somewhere in between, awesome. We'd just love to know from you. Uh, I really would. And with that said, let's go ahead and do that. And until we see you again tomorrow, ich wünsche Ihnen einen schönen Tag noch. Auf Wiedersehen, Tschüss, Servus, Grüß Gott, Ciao, Chin Chin. Be good to yourselves, be good to your neighbors, and be especially nice to the person behind you in line. Take care now. We'll see you soon. Be well.